Stan to make words and welcome back to another episode of Mega Mech as we get into the campaigns of the Striking Serpents and last time Adderlance successfully repelled the counter-attack however there's a lot of things that are being repaired at the moment so rather than just doing all of this repair time work with you gone uh, you get to join us for it and we can kind of chat and talk about a side of the repair thing that uh, people have talked to me or have mentioned that they would don't really understand and would like more information on so hopefully this will serve as a bit of an example Maybe not, but we'll find out. That out. Can't rob any ammunition out of these things. Uh, we do want to replace the bin off of you, yes. How did you fail a four? God damn it. There we go. I need more LRM reloads. Order one, order one, order one, order one, order one, order one. I need a lot of LRM reloads, actually, because we use a lot of them. So we're going to use basically today as an LRM replacement. The Thunderbolt, your current problem is you're missing a head. Flashman, similar problem. I will get my best repair tech. His name is Ottfried Weiss to work on it. And we of course need more armor, which we can't procure through normal methods, I don't think. Warehouse. Wait, what's currently in... The reserve for 15 minutes now. So much equipment is currently reserved. LRM ammo, medium lasers. Still obtaining parts for some refits, it looks like. Probably because I'm robbing parts too. Alright. Uh, steal all that armor, that way it'll bring up on the list here and I can force supply the armor. This goes away at the end of the week, so I'm trying to get as much use out of it as I can. Uh, it doesn't apply to aerospace units, which is why I'm not just instanting up the uh, avionics. Teleria would have, but we don't have Teleria, so. Let's replace the mech head off the Flashman. Or we'll get Offer Advice to work on it. We'll be done with that tomorrow. Uh, we'll have. Do I have him? No, he's currently taken up with a refit. Crap. Uh, Cusick is not available until I can get that all taken care of. Thunderbolt, you're missing a cockpit. There's a replacement cockpit for you. There it is. Prepare standard cockpit. Times four. Take all the time you need. 800 minutes? No problem. It'll be done tomorrow. Oh, we gotta let us. Wait, are we salvaging? Oh, right, yeah, because it's busted, so we gotta rip it off. And then we put on a new one. Salvage the machine gun. Is your right arm? Your right arm is repairable. Okay. Take extra time on this because I don't want to break it. Thunderbolt's a solid mech, so that's why I'm sort of treating it with kid gloves on this one. Because I don't want to lose it. Nice, solid, reliable chances. All my skill was dodge. Well, I guess <laughs> at least you should have a mass candy anyways. Wait, what? Air quality index just hit 365? What? That sounds not good. Anyway, where's Lady Freya? Lady Freya is waiting on ammo. The DF is waiting on ammo. The PM is waiting on ammo. Oh yeah, the Crockett. Crockett. Ramo. And then we'll just put this thing back together. Because it's more important to get the active frontline mechs back together than it is to play around with my little pet projects. As cute as my pet projects are. That Flashman. The Flashman is beautiful. There we go. Flashman's good, except for the AC-10 ammo. Shots are arriving in transit, but as I said, for, for this week we have access to that base and so we get to steal them for free. It's a little bit cheating, I'll admit. Armor. How long does it take to replace an AC-10 with an AC-10i? Um, let's find out. Where's the Crockett? Customize. Customize the mech lab. 
equipment. Actually, no, first. Hi, you're all my prisoners now? You can team up with, with him. He'll fix you up. You need to go to search equipment. Official. Equipment. Ballistic weapons. Can I add? Remove. Plus two tons of ammo. Ignition. AC10I. One, two. Dying criticals. Uh, I'm assuming this is where the cannon was located. And... On the head, just because it's safe there. It's in the same reason. That'll take 4,320 minutes, 24,000 sea bills, as well as two AC-10i ammo bins, but that's fine. I'm in eastern Washington, and you're surrounded by wildfires. Ah, that explains it. I hope you're safe, man. Is currently, uh, what have we seen? What is currently on the market? Oh, you mean this? Uh, that's the aerospace list, which is mostly black market. Apparently, the black market got a huge hold of aerospace fighters, and so they have been just lording it over people. There's a rifleman for 75 for a 70 percent, so that's not bad. So, 30 percent off, uh, 15 percent off a panther, 15 percent off a shadow hawk. 5% off a griffin, 5% off another griffin. Oh, never mind, crest over. Uh, Vulcan for full price, it's on the open market. A oh, Whitworth, which has cool artwork, but uh, wouldn't really recommend it. Locust for 5% above normal cost, and then the black market is currently trying to sell us Ostrox and Warhammers. So there is that. Let's get any snacks, what are we doing? We are doing repair, refit, rearm, reload, all of the rees. That way we can actually get, you know, the entire company back on its feet. Oh, by the way, this is the Orion. I was about to, I was trying to fix the Orion as fast as I could. And then all the people who were saying, oh, I want an Orion, suddenly decided I don't want an Orion anymore. So that was cool. He wanted something way bigger and cooler. Uh, it's this. It's way bigger and cooler. Actually, he he's getting the exact same amount of weaponry, but he's getting more structure points for it, so... Also, flippy arms, which is always fun. Uh, Stalker PM now. Stalker F. Sure, we're almost finished fixing it, the Surrey F, so why not? Uh, you can work on that to get you out of here. 5 to replace your medium laser. Pair that medium laser. This. That's easy. Another medium laser repair. Lovely. That. We're starting to replace parts with broken parts. So we have to replace them and then fix them while they're on the mech. It's a bit of a pain, I will admit. But what you gonna do? 6,000 minute refit is a fairly chunky. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a fairly chunky refit. Uh, why do you put me on blast? <laughs> because this is the third refit. <laughs> to be fair, so, so the longbow is obviously Warden's, and uh, Warden orders up pretty much the same mech every time. <laughs> it's incredibly useful, we found out, because he keeps winning with it. Uh, but it is the same mech every time. If I lose Odin, I'll take it. You'll take what? The, the Orion? I mean, if you want it. <laughs> Actually, no, you can't. You have to blow up Aiden first, because the name mech will... I'd be very happy if we kept Sunset's mech free to be used to gain some goodwill. Um, I still need to write an AAR about that, so that we can finally put put some things in for that, because people are... I, I've been, le unfortunately, leaving people in suspense on that one. For a variety of reasons. None of them are good. But I do appreciate your indulgence with me. I'm giving me time to work on things. Yay, you're actually, actually, you failed the refit, but hey, that's okay. That, and then that. Okay, that's all my mech warriors, again. So, I have no tanks that are broken. The tanks were easy to fix. Uh, I am safe, no actual fires close to me, just getting smoke from North of Washington. All right, that's great to hear. Very happy to hear that. How bad is the Black Knight? It's perfectly fixed. The Black Knight is undamaged. Put it all back together again. 
Can you see Orion? Yeah. Oh, the Orion. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, that, that's... We don't know that the Crockett is on six That is true. That is very true. Uh, yeah, I can put the Orion back together. All right, uh, another day. Another day, another dollar. Would you break? Shots of LRM ammo have arrived. It's beautiful to hear. Attempts to replace avionics. Still needs time. 250 fusion engine. Oh, okay. Please tell me you didn't break that permanently. You didn't. Oh, thank God. All right, try it again. Got to go into fixing that fusion engine again. When we run out of armor, it's going to be terrifying. Because <laughs> we're going to have to survive two weeks without armor supply. Uh, so how long is your refit? Let's take a look. Your refit is a Atlas. Can't do that right now. It's too fast. Performs maintenance. Performs maintenance. 24 shots. Fixes the armor. Replace upper armor actuator. Successfully, I might add. Replace avionics. Comes to fix armor. Fix thunderbolt. Fix right arm on thunderbolt. Fix standard cockpit on thunderbolt. That's great. He rolled a 10. That's not bad at all. Uh, not enough armor to have suspended. Two fifty engine. Place medium laser. Uh, works on Atlas Seven LSID One refit kit is one thousand one hundred forty minutes. I think that's you. I'm pretty sure that's you. So, and then of course the BLR WRG is. 19,460 minutes, but that's because we're putting case on it and it's taking forever. Uh, you, go fix up the armor. And then... Oh god. I'm just dreading having to work on 14,000 minutes worth of structural integrity. <laughs> oh god. Uh, rip, rip armor off of this. That, that'll be fine. That... Oh, we're about to run out of armor to rip off of things. Yeah, I guess you can steal a PPC or something. So you are a green tech, so I'm not exactly expecting the world out of you. Double double heat or a single heat sink. Oh no, that is a double heat sink. Yeah, well, it'll be fine. Oh good, I can get you off my off my ledger, and you can leave my ledger as well. Of uh, the PM, you can leave my ledger as well. Which just leaves the Crockett. Which we're waiting for reloaded AC 10 bins. So that's fun. 10 shots apparently in transit. Because apparently I can't acquire instantly on that. Need more LRM ammo. Just a little bit more. Now that I've got somebody who spits out 45 missiles every time he shoots, <laughs> I need more missiles. <laughs> because that number of missiles is actually only going to last a little while. Uh, reload the bins on the Shadowhawk? Sure, why not? Ryan, fixing the center torso. It's been requested that we do a good job on it. We'll give it a times three modifier. 810 minutes, but hey. Since everybody else is no longer inoperables. Except for the Flashman, but I think the Flashman is being worked on? Yeah, 60 minutes to replace his head. So let's fix up the center torso armor on this and see if we can't put it back in the service. But I got hundreds of tons of SRM ammo. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's going to be ready in time for the end of the contract. But yeah, I'm going to be... Oh, the time skip is going to have so much menace. <laughs> when the time skip comes around, there's going to be just a ridiculous amount of, uh, of going through the entire supply list and procuring an actual useful number of things. There are a bunch of mangled fuel tanks at the airport... Well, that into the max. Save for CC LRMs to turn, but I had to make some compromises. I mean, you could have. Yeah, you definitely could have. Because you have four medium lasers in an SRM 6. I mean, yeah, that's absolutely another LRM, LRM 15. You could have gotten there. If you wanted to. I mean, I don't know if that's actually a desire of yours. Or you could have dropped them all down to LRM 5s and put 12 of them on there. That would have done it too. Working on the center torso. Let's work on the right torso as well. Oh, 90 minutes for that repair on a 3. 
Beautiful. He literally couldn't break it. He could fail to repair it, but he couldn't break the part. Give you a four to bring you down to a very nice solid time. But I don't have to worry about fixing that up pretty nicely. Right leg. That's a three. Take it. So that should be all of his parts being fixed. Let's replace that foot actuator. He needs a one on that, I love it. That was that lower arm actuator. Rip that sucker clean off. Back together, just like Humpty Dumpty. Work on that, you can work on that. Work on that, you can work on that. And give me another ton of armor. That's, by the way, why I'm acquiring armor in one-ton increments, rather than just instant giving myself a million. Now I just have to also have, have a repair because appropriately plus potentially deal with any XP loss or gain in the time being. Time equals fun. Uh, yes, I, I have thoughts of what I'm going to do with that, but that's still several months of actual real-life time away. Oh right, you just need that arm back and then you'll be... Then we'll fix it up and that Thunderbolt will be ready to rock. It's the machine gun arm on a Thunderbolt, which is a terrible, terrible arm. Start pulling armor off here so I don't run myself dry. Your salvage title and I haven't stolen your armor, I've done it wrong. You're all salvaged, that's good. Okay, Flashman. Fix that Flashman's right arm. I will risk it. What a biscuit. And we got it. Now I'm going to take all that armor that I've just salvaged and I'm going to put it all the way back on to another mech. Then consistent like that. Double needs 100 minutes. Piece of cake. We have no armor, though. that's not true. Just keep digging in that well. Uh, don't do that. You you have very few minutes that you actually get every day because you're a maintenance monkey. So I'm just going to give you anything that I can find. It'll only keep you busy for a little while. There you go. Odd question, but did Cutter receive the thank you card in her mailbox? No. Uh, you get one XP for each in-character post you make <laughs> to the time skip. <laughs> nah, I'm not like that. A repair bay episode? Yeah, it's, it's turning out that way. There's just so many mechs that you guys got. I mean, there can't be so much to work with, man. We get all the armor off you. We got all the armor off you. Still don't have that avionics, and we're still working on that. Oh, I don't want to have you work on this. I want my elite to work on it, just to make sure that it doesn't break anymore. Difficulty seven or six. There we go. Your armor is fixed. Got a brand new nose mounted medium laser. So now it's just your structural repair, which is... <laughs> I'm going to wait for the elite on it, because the elite's going to break it. <laughs> or not, as the case may be. Taking forever. Uh, to get us closer to 3039 with the fourth season, more part two. Let's see what happens. Oh, did somebody ask why we're having a time skip? Why are we doing a time skip? Uh, we're not doing it now. It'll be post-contract, but because you guys have been on mission pretty much for a year and a half two years with no break so the company needs to stop and chill and breathe um not skipping years multiple years probably not um but when when we get closer to that i will i will speak more as to what is being planned for and what will get done during that time period so never fear on that I will keep in mind all of you. Stalker, finally get off my... That stalker is fully fixed now. Somebody was waiting on a stalker for a refit. It's now done. Let me know if you're not having it, because if not, I need to put it in mothballs. I need to put a lot of things here in mothballs. Also, the Vindicator Avenging Angel, nobody's gotten back to me on a refit on this or not. Is anybody refitting it? 
Same deal with the Osrock 2MM. I need to know these things because I gotta put these things in mothballs. They're costing me people's maintenance time. Time that I need in other places. <laughs> Oh, that was, uh, I also got this stock attached to that. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mothball half of this stuff. Death Egg Loadout was the Mech Request channel. It is in the Mech Request. All right, okay. I will uh, take a look at that soon-ish. I mean, we're all here. Uh, Thunderbolt needs an ammunition bin replaced. No problema. 100 minutes for the arm armor. The machine gun. And you can work on the other machine gun as well. And then you can load that machine gun. And then we'll have somebody else work on the actuators. Who's my lowest ranking dude? It's you, Kevin Miller. Of course you did. You failed a three, but you got a point of XP for it. All right, Thunderbolt's done. That's out of my bay. Well, if it's your track, is going to make lots of new family members. It's my warriors with nothing to do. I mean, we'll talk. Don't worry, we'll, we'll talk. You failed? How did you fail? Hot for you to fix it. He replaced it, and now it needs to be patched. And that patch job is gonna take a long time. Oh, another 800 minutes for this. Word to God, this mech doesn't want to be fixed. Armor, acquired instantaneously, because we are still pulling from the depths of Lemnos's mighty bays. All right, we'll fix that tomorrow. We'll have that done tomorrow, and that'll be the Flashman out of my bay. Uh, we are still replacing. We have no medium lasers. Really? There are none in Orit, and there's none available to the unit either. Oof. Oh, that's going to suck. Because our access to the mech bay will require me to start rolling at the end of this week. Any ETA on starting the Lucifer refit? I mean, I can start it now if you'd like. But I kind of want to save my best uh, best aero tech for it, because your your thing is finished. But if I do this, you're not gonna have a plane to fly. So if you don't mind that, then I can work on it. There's 11 refit requests in the channel. Jesus, getting ridiculous. All systems nominal. Oh, got nominal. Right as I clicked away to look at it. Nano Don, thank you for the follow. Uh, you folks have drained the whole star system drive with some medium lasers. <laughs> no, it's just a logistic snafu that's affecting us this month. It's a pain. It's such a pain. I can't believe you rolled that. This is the worst possible result we could have gotten. Maybe not the worst, but I'm only exaggerating a little bit. Get a hawk. I can replace your armor. Let's do it. That way, later on, I can rip off all your armor. Uh, ooh, there's a right leg that needs a replacement. And a left leg, too, to be fair. You're in a transport bay. That's not the right place for you. Remember, you're back at base. Because you're not part of the people who just deployed. So you get to change your site. Alright, I could have done this from, the, from that screen. Do a maintenance facility, because that's what you are. The seven. A seven to fix a right leg. As much as I want to do that, I'm not not gonna risk the entire thing. Off of a bad seven roll. Uh Mike So needs an eight. Yeah, it's even worse for you, isn't it? Alright, we will put replace other things first so that I don't feel quite as much pain. Armor as well. Okay, that patches up your armor, so I just need to patch up the torsos and everything. 960 minutes. Great. Great, great, great. Not something I want to do on a six. Not with my less than great people. Donald, you can replace the torso. And Cecilia, I'll have you replace his leg. You're going to be busy for a while. But hey. They're all patch job work. These are gonna run out of armor. Um. Oh, we're on pull apart duty now. Oh, nice. Rip off that medium laser. Salvage 
everything off the stalker. It was a good stalker, it really was. But I, I need all your parts now. And by now, I mean like right now. That's me for another day. This is what I have to do in between episodes. You normally don't see this, but but when there's long periods of time, like four days between a refit, and you guys have just gotten me a massive number of mechs, this is what I have to do. Uh, don't start there until there are plant our spirit planes to fly. And I need a few MLs. <laughs> Smell the welding smoke for months to come. So if you can convince Sprog, uh, unit market to purchase from here then i mean you you you'll have a replacement like there's a slayer here that i so want but i can't afford it nursing question can a mech get a critical failure on a refit that results in either no no it does not critical fail it only has to extend further if you're in so close it gets full battle is tomorrow battle is indeed tomorrow but yeah so many black market entries on this one there's a thrush and a lightning but only if you're willing to be gouged on this one we don't have any extra arrows? Um, that's a gray area. I mean, I've got a Hellcat, but the last time we took out a Hellcat, it, it cratered. This Hellcat has one internal structure, and then anything else is taken from the other lances, which I kind of don't want to do, because the other lances deserve to fly too. You know, whatever the Thunderbird's dream baby actually gets fixed. God, that Avionics 3 damage was ridiculous. It's right on through. All right, uh, back to fixing things. You're taking your good sweet time. You'll be done in a few days. You know where? Where is that AC ten ammo? Ten ammo. Game mode. Don't move apart now. I'm tired of waiting. I want you out of my bay. Also because I said that we're going looking through things. Also, I think it was glitching things a little bit. Oh, reattach arms. Yay. Replace the electronic warfare equipment. You're up for pat take pick up the Slayer? Oh, okay. It is a 90% off Slayer, and I do like Slayers. For those of you who don't know, and since this is becoming a repair episode, I can I can dive into diversions like this. Oh, let's see, I need Sarna. The Slayer is actually really cool. That's what it looks like. This is pretty sweet. As far as Battletech thing comes, this is actually a really sweet looking ride. It's also, and this I thought was really hilarious, it's Kuritan. <laughs> so, but yeah, Slayers are pretty sweet. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fairly be decent fan of them. Now that is interesting. We sort of broke a few plans before we changed the rules. It's like, it is one of the few. So, so if if you're okay with this being a black market purchase, then we can do that. And hell, at some point we may even give it an AC-10i, which is because it's built around an AC-10 with a whole bunch of medium lasers. Like Slayers in general are really nice aerospace fighters. So if you're okay with the chance of being cheated, I'll buy it. It's four million seagulls. We have somewhere around here is my price. Yeah, seventy-nine million seagulls remaining. Yes means yes. Okay. Purchase. Hey, we got it. Oh, we were not cheated. All right, I need to go to my personnel. Aerospace fighter pilots. Where is... Find a unit as pilot. Le Slayer. Yoni. Teller Airbase. Fox Snake 2. Uh, remove from Tioni. Add units, add aerospace fighters, add heavy. There we go. And it'll need to be painted at some point. It is amusing to me that the Slayer is smaller than the Samurai. Slayer ribbon there. Slayer's a great man. Slayers are solid pieces of equipment. So now we can do Thunderbirds refit, which I will do as soon as I work on all of this. Insanity. All right, I do have to do it, don't I? Please don't fail. If you fail, that'll be such a tragedy. Uh, built around an AC-10 with a lot of lasers. Sounds like a solid, solid build. It is. So where are our Reavers? I mean, when one shows up in the market, if you can convince Sprogue to buy it for you, then I mean, it'll be there. 
kind of don't recommend it. Reavers are. We're gonna risk a biscuit. Oh, nice work. Quiji has just. Quiji has really stepped up as far as a te as techs go. Like he has not been letting me down lately, which means he's gonna let me down in the next attempt that I actually, you know, try and fix anything. But lately, he's been doing really good. Retest that arm. Back on the mech. Oh, this mech is coming back together really well. Armor's all back on. Pistols are on. Medium lasers are on. That's on. Clicky that, clicky that. You're gone. Iron Coin Mist, replace that. And there it is. The Orion is done. The Nightmare of Zayas. Uh, QNN has never let anybody down. So that's now out of my bay. Shadowhawk I can't touch. It's all on to ripping apart the T20. I mean, yeah, this is a bit of a sad moment, but still. Good job, everybody. We've hit the point where we're just ripping things to shreds. And you can do that, and then you can do that. You, I've got to find a job that you can, you know, do for long periods of time, because you do not get a lot of time. All right. Really good, though. I should really sell this Hellcat. Structural integrity of one is just bad. I need one down now. No. Because here's what I'm gonna do. Alright, we're gonna go to... Mech. To the Orion. Going to customize, choose refit kit. And we're gonna pick a very boring very standard Orion K. Now we can't find the bloody kit because of the current maintenance issues, but it would take us 5,370 minutes to do. Or uh, we could do the KE, but the KE also has the, uh, the electronic warfare in it. Random stalker we're feeding the text. No, that's the t T20. Is the T20, yeah, the T20 is, is in pieces at the moment. Uh, we're, we're rendering it down for all of its juicy, juicy spare parts and salvage, which we're almost done with, which is very nice. I have unmaintained units. Oh, right, the brand new Slayer. Uh, da -da -da, Aerospace Fighter. Welcome to the group. Dyn Tech. Uh, I will have Barazi work on you. barazi has been working on all of our junk lately. I do feel a little bizarre for her. Oh, there it is. Work on Atlas AS7 LS one, ID 1 refit kit customization of Atlas AS7 LS ID 14 is complete. Mac. Alright, somewhere around here's an Atlas. Sick. My name! There it is. It's all done. It's all finished. Personnel. Mega Warriors, Vanguard, Signed Units as Pilot, Hyperion, Fighter Lance, remove the DF, add unit, add mech, assault, the Hyperion, boom. Thought you said it was far out? It was far out. We've just gone through three weeks since the last time you asked. All right, so the Hyperion's done, Kager's done, the Jaeger's done, the Stalker PM's done, and the Crockett is done. So really the only one who hasn't, doesn't have a super tuned, super special, awesome ride at the moment is Pyro. And Pyro will get a super awesome special tuned ride at some point. I don't know if he's going to modify the Crockett or if he's going to wait for something else more interesting to come along. It is now Sunday. How's that Shadowhawk coming? Good, the arms are back on. Oh, and I finally got Cusick back. Thank God. Cusick, I missed you. Salvage his head. Off with his head! You failed! God damn it, Cusick, why are you back? Finish rendering this thing down for parts. You can work on that for a couple of days. I need this head. Quiji, give me the head. Quiji got me the head, see? Salvage, salvage, salvage. He did fail on a PPC though. So, off with his, his head as well. 
90 minutes. 90 minutes. 120. Zero time because it was blown clean off. See, that's the advantage of having a blown off roll result. You get the part back without any time. All right, there goes the stalker. He's gone. Never return. The T20 has been pulled out. Uh, Crockett is in the meantime. Do we need some color to make us carry? Okay, the camo is imperfect. Can I edit the camo? I can edit the camo. Hang on just a moment while I edit your camo. Uh, change force camo. Excellent. There you go. Uh, I thought I saw Ember was it? What was Ember? No, it's not. Still being worked on. The Stalker was removed from the roster because it's destroyed, but... But the Ember is not complete. They were asking about Ember? Okay. Side two. Actually, no force. Okay. That that puts you all in your nice little force brackets. Unfortunately, the striking serpent's force builds up, and I don't know why, and it annoys the hell out of me. Because it doesn't easily sort then. Alright, so we tore that apart. The only mech left in the repair bay is a Shadow Hog. Which we won't be able to finish today, obviously, because you know. Little bit of a little bit of a repair hog on this one. We have an AC5. Oh my god. Where did we get that? Why is there an AC5 on my boat? The armor back. Alright, Shadowhawk can't be touched until another 585 minutes. That's another two-ish days. And then we can finish the Shadowhawk. You're regular, you're regular, but you're at full time. We're already working on that. Fix that. You failed. We only failed by a little bit. You failed by the same number. Third time's a charm. You finally made it. So the Samurai is getting its structural integrity fixed. Uh, we're currently ripping this off. Another 2,000 minutes, so that's four days or so. Probably closer to five. Uh, you're being worked on. You're another... You're, you're another while. So I'm going to need a calculator to figure out that one. But 13,440 minutes divided by 480. And that's how long until those avionics are getting patched up. That's good. Okay. Or... Right. Totally forgot. Uh, on the play first, because I didn't know what he was going to drive, so I didn't put him in a mech yet, because I didn't know if you guys were going to take the time to set everything up. But you, hello dragon, signed to you as pilot. I'll strike two MM. Nobody got back to me on a refit in time. Although there might be one in the channel now. Uh, that's about 26 to 28 days. Thank you! All right, add units, mech, heavy, Ostrog, Badoomph. And I also saw that Grizz is currently working on a um, on a custom Ostrog model, which I thought was very, very cute and adorable. Live, I've named the Samurai the Okude since it survived and got a kill. Ah, uh, yes, there's that hangar. Space fighters. Seven more minutes in this episode. Name unit. Okay. I wonder if he would accept Japanese language. Uh, okay. I don't know what the kanji for his name would be. We'll go with that. Do you, will you remember this? <laughs> It remembers it. Technically, this should be in katakana, unless you can figure out the kanji for it. It's not what it goes. If you have the kanji for how to how to spell his name, I will put that in there instead. So actually, instead, because of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to because I will forget how to spell how to pronounce it, even if I know the kanji. Uh, there we go. Weeb. Hey, this was my bloody minor. 
and I worked on my final project for, for getting my degree was the history of the written Japanese language, so fuck you. <laughs> Um, I'm actually really proud of that. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you give me the kanji, I will add that into his name, and I will just keep that in there, and uh, probably ch I'll change this to Katakana when the time comes up. I'm gonna make a different Griffin icon so Simbri and Argentavis can be pulled apart. <laughs> yeah, that'll help. Uh, by the way, uh, it is a chase. The chase will take a while. All right. We're gonna do, we're gonna do this for the last little bit of this campaign. Not campaign, but this episode. But I am going to go to this version of Mega Mech. Now this is the updated version of Mega Mech. And uh, it is, this This is not the version we're currently playing on. This is the more recent one. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to show off just what Reggie has done for this company. Because Reggie has done some awesome things for this company. Uh, first, th first and foremost, I'm going to add in a King Crab. I'm going to add in the, the current model King Crab. This is the current King Crab that is comes with the game and does all this. I complained about this King Crab a lot. And Reggie, who, who plays Grizzly in this campaign, uh, thank you very much. I'm going to copy this. Since you wanted Okude. Oh, that makes sense. Duh. I'm an idiot. Yeah, that, may, that makes a lot of sense. No pad. Just so I've got that saved. That way we'll fill this in for the samurai. Oh, that's not a king crab. That's not a, I know it's hideous, isn't it? So I complained about this because I, I didn't want to field king crabs because of this model. So I complained about this and Grizzly comes along and says, I can do it. I, I think I can do the drawing for it. So he comes up with this. And is that not beautiful? Now, this is actually a previous version. Uh, there's another updated version that I have in the other game at the moment. Uh, and you can notice a little ghost things. But does that look a lot better? Is that not amazing? Because <laughs> now it's a proper King Crab from MWL. Now it's got some bulk to it. Now it's got some force to it. But he wasn't done. You see, we found a picture of a really cool, interesting mech. So I'm going to exp expose this more. Oh, oh right, because I don't have the, the image. So we found a picture of a really cool mech. Um, while I was looking for other types of pictures called O'Brien and we found this picture and turned out that this comes from a magazine uh, where uh, where somebody sort of put forth a mech idea so from the picture and their information we put together you know four different versions of this mech and again <laughs> Grizzly <laughs> Reggie came up and said I can make artwork for that too so then he made this for the Brian but it's not done yet you see he then came along because we found some more interesting artwork from Hairbrain Schemes this time. And Hairbrain Schemes came along, and when they were making the Bull Shark, they came up with several different mech designs. Oh, please tell me I didn't. Yes. And they came up with the Phobos. And so I started spitballing a whole bunch of different variants of the Phobos. Which, by the way, all ended up being wrong. It turns out that the Phobos is actually supposed to be a clan mech, but screw that. I think I think it's better as an inner sphere mech. So we came up with the Phobos, and we made a whole bunch of variants on that one. This is just the current the current one that is available in this time period because of the introductory box set. But and again, Reggie came up and said, "Hey, I can make that one too." He's now working on a fourth mech because Simbri came up with even more artwork. <laughs> Because he found, God, was it? It's the Spitfire. I don't know if it's going to show up in the options. It's not. Probably because I need to change my allied units and equipment. Unofficial. Okay. Head combat unit. That's oh, still not there. Why? Oh, I wonder where they all went to. But he's come up. He's coming up and making another one, which I actually don't have the model for. That's over on our Discord for a land air mech called the Spitfire, which is a lot of fun. So he has been incredibly helpful in making a whole bunch of things for us. So again, thank you so much, Ray, Reggie, for all your really hard work on this. It has been really awesome to see, like better, better things come forward from this and brand new stuff that we didn't even know was there. So thank you so much for all for all the hard work that you've been doing. Now. I really do appreciate it. There's my heart piece too. 
So he he has been the absolute man this week, just coming up with mechs. So it's like at the end of the day, building mechs like like making this sheet is easy, but making the pixel art for it, I mean that that's way way harder and a lot more talented than what we've been doing here. So all props, all props to Reddick. He's been working so hard on this. So all right, that is that. So let's see now if I can cram in. Nah, we'll we'll do the. I'll I'll set up the um. God, was it the Lucifer refit? After this. Uh, it's in the OSC chat. Nice. So, all right, we're gonna wrap it up on a repair episode for for the YouTube people. Don't worry, we're still gonna get through Cobra's battle, even though it's going to be a chase and chases are. <laughs> But uh, we're going to do a battle with Cobra coming up next. However, YouTube only takes a little bit of time. So to our YouTube people, thank you very much for watching. I have been Derek. If you like what we're seeing, please make sure to hit that like button and perhaps subscribe. If you want to see notifications every single time we go live, press that little bell icon. Check down below. You'll notice a link to our Discord. If you want to meet the awesome people like Reggie who do all that hard work for us, uh, please join the Discord. Chat and hang out with us. Uh, ain't I with Cobra? You are not. Uh, and because it's wooded hills, I had not planned for that. No. New target acquired. Cool Kurtz has gifted two one sub to Reggie. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Cool Kurtz is paying it for for the gift they got from Dark Persona. Nice. All right. So, uh, yeah, to you two people, thank you very much, and I will see you next time.